Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the infinite burner switch on your range. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a number one square head screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now, the first step in this repair will be to remove the power to the range. If it has a cord on it, simply disconnect it from the receptacle. If it's a hardwired range, we'll need to locate the fuses or the breakers and make sure they're disconnected. Now, to gain access to the um, infinite heat switch, we'll need to pull the range away from the wall because access is through the back. Now, with our number one square head screwdriver, we'll remove four screws that secure the upper back panel. Three across the bottom, and then one in the center at the top. We can just set that aside. Now our large burner infinite heat switch is located right here. So what you'll want to do first is to write down where each of these wires is located. We've got two blue ones, so we need to separate which is which on those. And then we'll remove those wires. A little trick that I use sometimes is to take a wire off of the old switch and put it directly onto a new switch. That way you make no mistakes. So use a pair of pliers because the wires are on those terminals fairly tight. The next step will be to remove the knob in front of that switch and there are two screws that secure the switch to the control panel. Remove the old switch and install our new one. Reinstall those two screws. sure they're good and tight. Reinstall the knob. And now we're ready to put the back panel on. Take the center tab that has the screw hole in it. Line that up with the hole in the top of the console. And secure that one first. Now that we have the back panel on, we're ready to push the range back into place, reconnect the power, and our repair is complete. Told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.